All right, so this is going to be uh, Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well uh, Aquarius Rising. Weekly general tarot reading, uh, October 12th to October 18th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me or you want to take uh, one of my tarot classes in case you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, in regards to all of that, you can find in the description down below. So with that being said, let's uh, jump to the reading straight away. And let me first lay down the cards. Right, so the upper half of uh, this eight card spread is going to show your uh, love and relationship. The bottom half is going to describe your um, work and career. So let's uh, let's turn the cards over. We do have the five of uh, wands with the five of cups with the ace of wands. And then it is going to be the six of swords. And in terms of career, that will be the ace of cups followed by the knights of pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the Lost, or that is the Strength cards, and the last, wow, that will be the World. Right, so let's uh, deal with the love and the relationship first, and then uh, we'll see how the career is, uh, is unfolding. So in terms of love and relationship, uh, this uh, these cards are kind of like more relative to people that are single. Uh, than those that are within a current relationship or people that are having problems in generally that are separated but not exactly separate as well so what the cards here are pointing is that the week is going to be very dynamic in terms of love uh, and in case you are single you can expect to interact with a lot of people okay in generally to have multiple um, I can't say really suitors, but multiple people that will show interest towards you and as well that you may have interest in them. Uh, and because we do have the Ace of Wands here into this position, it kind of points that one of these people is going to present itself, himself or herself, if you will, to be quite of a, uh, if I may express myself that way, a lucrative opportunity for you, lucrative in, in terms of emotions and in terms of passions, passion especially. Now, what is the problem here? That is to be the uh, Five of Cups, and this card in that specific position plays rather a psychological uh, role. So the Five of Cups is a sign that although you may have healed from a past disappointment, you know, past losses as well, breakups, if you will, or rather like you may think you have healed your emotions, and that is for the most part true, still the memory that resides of those um, past experiences, past poignant experiences, uh, and how can I say, the, uh, the thing that... The, the, the fact that these memories does make difference is something that you need to sever ties with. So the Five of Cups into this position here, it points that um, you should not keep up with the old ways. That, that's all that the card suggests in that particular, uh, in that particular position in terms of emotions. And that also uh, implies that you should not presume you know what somebody feels or how they going how how are they going to act or what kind of intentions they do have especially you should not presume uh, how one thing is gonna end before it actually is going to start for that is something that may ruin a, a future commitment okay and and the other thing here it is that how can i describe it uh, if you kind of like, uh, if you cannot forgive something, do not look the other way. Uh, I'm saying that uh, for those kind of people that are within a situations, uh, they think that things are going to change on their own accord. I I'm sorry for the example, but there are those, uh, we not just only women, men as well, that are within an, an abusive relationship and they think that with time, 
their partner will stop abuse them. Uh, that, that, that's never the case, okay? So if you do see red flags, don't look the other way uh, with the Five of Cups having here. But ultimately, aside from that, you are to have your chance in terms of forming a relationship or straight away fixing a relationship for the Five of Wands, regardless if it is about career or love, that is one of the cards that offers one the means to prevail, regardless of how tough the situation is, regardless of how um, handicapped they are. That was the word that I was searching for, okay? Regardless of how handicapped one is. And how we end up the uh, week itself in terms of love here is you guys having the say, in the sense of that's to say, okay, let's let's give it a go. Let's see how it's going to move forward. Or having to say we we are done. Or no, I I, I don't want to 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 move forward with you. Now, the six of swords predispose people to say yes in a sense of that you should try to new experiences. Okay. For according to the card, new experiences are going to improve your circumstances within the uh, field of reading or in this particular case within your uh, love life. But again, if you are very scared of to try, also free, feel free to decide not to do so. But the bottom line here with this uh, for you Aquarius, this uh, love reading says that you will have your chance throughout the week. If you are so desperate for it, don't for it, don't blow it away. So let's now look at uh, how your career is looking. Your career is looking significantly better than your love life, and to say the least. Now with the Ace of Cups here sitting on this particular position, okay. Those that are unemployed, well, congratulations. You are gonna have an amazing, you know, probably uh, a job offer or an opportunity to start a job. Uh, for the Ace of Cups, it kind of signifies that whatever worries you do have in terms of your employment, in terms of your business, in terms of your career, they are not going to be exactly resolved, but they are to pretty much stop being relevant at all. Uh, for example, you may worry for money. Well, that is not going to be relevant after the week itself. Okay? If you worry about your place your, uh, at your job, that thing is not going to be worry. Uh, that thing is not going to be a uh, uh, point of influence to you anymore. Not because you may be uh, able to sustain your place, but maybe because you're going to find a better job. Okay, so the uh, manifestation of the Ace of Cups will differ depending on what kind of a situation you are in. So. Or uh, how we can, uh, um, how can I say, um, overview the Ace of Cups? It is that your career will develop lovely throughout the week, okay? Uh, now, the problem that we do have, it is this individual here, the uh, Knight of Pentacles. It says Prince, but actually that is the Knight in the traditional deck. So that is a person who does have a little bit of a different plan and what the problem that is, well, pretty much uh, it does look like that you and this person are working together or you together are trying to find a job, you know, or in generally you are tied in a certain way um, in terms of uh, career and uh, career development. But because they have a premeditated steps, premeditated plan, and now you are kind of like rushing the pace or accelerating the pace, they will not want to be able to keep up with you. And that's totally fine for as long as you can leave them behind. So that is all that it will be required from you to do in terms of a career um, moving forward throughout the week in terms of a, I could say, poignant aspects of it. Moving next with the strength cards into this position, the strength points that uh, you are first going to be quite enthusiastic about the future that your career holds, especially true if you are talking about unemployed people. For uh, how this could manifest, you okay, it is that you and a friend of yours are looking for job, not the same kind of job, you're just looking for job. And suddenly, you know, the job that fits with your qualification, the market for it opens 
suddenly uh, the market starves for uh, assets like you and they are left behind for they can't find a job of their qualification but you can and that makes you very enthusiastic and makes the concern of yours that you are unemployed irrelevant it doesn't solve it for now but makes it irrelevant okay so that is how it may manifest itself nonetheless the strength first like I said it points that you are going to be quite enthusiastic for what the future holds in terms of career for one or another way and as well the strength card it is the eagerness to to toil okay for you will have the um correct measures of how much you are to incorporate yourself in the future uh, enterprises and in the future endeavors and in generally how much from yourself to give to your current employment to a future employment or to projects that you are dealing with currently and finally we do have the universe or that is uh, the uh, world card here which pretty much points to your completion there isn't much more to be said about the card that card could signify you striking the the contract you need uh winning the client you have chased so much okay uh getting that promotion you you have chased as well for so long uh, accomplishing a, a great deed in terms of your career as well, establishing your own business, whatever you are chasing, uh, it does look like that you are to, if not completed entirely, reach a, a milestone that there is no going back from after uh, when it's uh, it's reaching a sense of that you can't lose what you have accomplished till that point. And what is important with the world is that as soon as you reach that completion, to immediately set a new goal for yourself in terms of career that is so that being said Aquarius this was your weekly general tarot reading guys hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we may see each other uh, next time until then bye